Score half. 100%. All right, guys. It's been a long day, and I decided I'm going to crack a box of wax, a box of 2012 totally certified football. This is going to be my thank you, Mr. Taxman, for it. Got the check in the mail today. What a better way to spend it than on a little wax. Totally certified. It's been a mixed bag for me this year. So we'll see what we got here. This is a personal break. But I thought I'd just go ahead and broadcast it. All right. Pack number one. There's a Tom Brady blue. And that is numbered to one ninety nine. And the hit is going to be Santana Moss, game use, platinum red, and that is numbered to 299 93 out of 299 So maybe not the start I was looking for there. All right. Now I have an audience. All right. Pack number two in the thank you, Mr. Taxman break. And it is going to be ooh, a nice patch. Three color. Andy Dalton. Gold patch. Looks like it's uh, white, orange, and black. Very nice. And that is numbered 14. Oh, it's his jersey number. How about that? 14 out of 49. Andy Dalton. The Cincinnati Bengals. Oh. All right. And I need I need a Chris Johnson to totally red like like nobody's business. The one card that eludes me for the set. Does anybody happen to have Chris Johnson? Chris Johnson. I will. 
I don't know what I'll do for it, but <laughs> I actually think I have it. I don't, that, that sounded I don't like even think I want the set at this point, but <laughs> that sounded like that could have got really bad really quick. Yeah. <laughs> the way he was talking there. Yeah. I do. I had to stop myself. I don't know what I do. Well, got an oh, I got an AP uh, base card there. And what do we got on the back here? Oh man. This guy's been all over like the national treasures. It's Josh Robinson. That's a freshman phenoms. I have seen more of his cards in the last week. And that is numbered out of uh, 290. It's all the freshman phenoms. Figure out which way to turn this thing. There you go. Numbered out of 290. Josh Robinson. Everybody's feet, especially off the bench. J Rob. All right. Pack number four. Oh, oh, oh. Look who's on the back. It's time for salsa. It's time for salsa. We always salsa around here for Victor Cruz. A little, little something we like to do. We always we look for a reason to dance. We love big guys dancing. All right. And the hit is going to be an autograph. It's a blue freshman phenoms, Tavon Wilson of the New England Patriots. Yeah. Great joke. And that's going to be numbered out of 99. That is the the blue freshman phenoms. And Tavon Wilson. So two D-backs in my rookie autos thus far. Well. See what we got here. Jesus, Panini does not want me to open this pack. I don't know if he's good or bad. Good <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. Still looking for that Chris Johnson base card. And it ain't in there. No way. Well, maybe this will make up for it. Oh, not bad. Tory Smith game used. Platinum red. That's unnumbered. Tory Smith, Baltimore Ravens. So there's one hit left, and with my calculations, it should be an auto. One pack, one hit, one auto left. We need to turn this around quickly. All right. And don't see a Chris Johnson. No Chris Johnson. And it's going to be a Ryan Broyles. Freshman Fabrics Auto. So Ryan Broyles of the Detroit Lions. And that is numbered out of 199. There you go. 199. There you have it. Ryan Broyles, Tavon Wilson, Josh Robinson are the autos, and Tory Smith, Santana Moss, and I would have to say the highlight of the draft, the Andy Dalton gold patch, numbered out of 40, 14 of 49. There you have it. Thank you, Mr. Taxman, for the Andy Dalton, not for the Santana Moss. Yeah, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier when you have that lag. You tell what you're doing. That was a very average box. Yeah, well, hey, there's only thing that helps you with Dalton is the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. The eBay 101 there. <laughs> Everything is an eBay 101 anymore. Jesus. No, it's not. Number one, the last one, four, number What's that? I know. Ah, that was a that was a doozy there. I do. I feel very bad. I feel I'm, I'm sulking right now. As a matter of fact. Wow. Yikes.
but you know what you should do? You can see it's a very nice game. Oh, oh, it can be like Mike in the morning. It can be like, hey, you know what? It can be like greedy and gold. I, I got no problem with that. I can talk. Hey, I can talk all day. It can be like responsibility. I knew we well, I'm no greedy. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I am no greedy. <laughs> you know, we mean more like uh, the guys in the afternoon, the, the poppy and... <laughs> so we may know way more than that. Gigi, I love you. I'm sorry, coach. Nobody else can score for you. You know, he, he may trust all those guys, but they can't win the game for it. He may have to get more than 14 and a half minutes on Collison. I mean, you're going to find some minutes. You get, you, there's a reason why teams do job fees better than they talk about their depth. The Bulls did this. You know, Tom Thibodeau, he, he ran those guys around 14, 14, 14, 46 minutes, 48, and Jimmy Butler did that. We see this in almost every series. I don't. Get it. Don't tell me with yeah. the extra stress. I remember you always talked about well, this. You are more tired in the playoffs play. than you are in the regular season. Yeah. So now it's like more minutes. Maybe you know, best friends are anything to, to when they say, oh, you young players, they're fine. They can play more minutes. Is that true or no? No, it's not. You get tired. You get tired. You have to remember in a seven game series. As the series goes on, you get more and more physically tired. And then it's emotionally, you're up for the game. And then you, you put a lot of energy into the game. And so, Jalen, when you, when you ask Kevin Durant to score 30, then guard, you saw one of the best of the most players in the league. Nine rebounds, nine assists. Exactly. It, it's just too much to ask of Kevin Durant. Guard, you saw a bad matchup. I don't want to see that. I'm not saying Lewis and Burke have never over eight combined. They got to give more. And Kevin Durant just messed with Russell Westbrook. And by the way, they did trade James Harden. You're going to miss that player. Your, your third best player. Especially without Russell Westbrook. And they tried to say, on paper, it made sense because you could replace a lot of his points with Kevin Martin. But now you're looking at this series, and it's like, there's a huge difference between James Harden and Kevin Martin. He was so appreciating Russell Westbrook as a traditional center, a left-handed first match. He's so hard to lose. Call him out the other day. He's a Kareem. The Sprint Halftime Report. Brought to you by Sprint. Get the free NBA game time app. At Sprint.com slash NBA. This presentation of the NBA playoffs will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The miraculous is everywhere in our homes, our minds. We can share every second in data dressed as pixels, and it is spectacular. So why would you count that? My iPhone 5 can see every point of view, every panorama, the entire gallery of humanity. I need to upload all of it. I need to know. I have the right to be unlimited. Make the most of your iPhone 5 with truly unlimited data and 4G LTD. Switch your number to any iPhone on Sprint and we'll give you $100 off. Hmm. Oh, crack here. This is way more tense than I was expecting. Yeah. 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 See that? It was like they twisted the cake and it twisted me. And that's one way of looking at it. Are you sure that's what I feel, Davis? Is submission on me here? That's the sprint talking. What about now? Still throwing a crank. Yeah, no, still. I'm going to take four of these cranks. Thursday, May 23rd. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> There's anybody viewing. At this point, I want to crack wax so bad today that uh, I'm having my Mr. Taxman thank you very much celebration. We just got done uh, cracking a 2012 totally certified football. And uh, it was very average, other than the Andy Dalton three-color patch. So what we're going to do now, because I can't decide on what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw five products into the randomizer, football products, and we are going to roll the dice and see how many times we're going to hit random. And at that point, I'm going to buy that product, and we're going to crack it right here online. So. It'll be thank you, Mr. Taxman. So I'm going to open up the uh, randomizer here. Okay. And we will get 2011 contenders. 2012 contenders. 2012 Prism, 2012 Totally Certified, I just can't get enough, after it beats me once, you gotta come back to it, and our fifth product was 2012 Absolute, alright, if I could find my dice, we'd be in business. There we go. I'm going to move my dice on it. All right. Somebody was shooting craps in the back. All right. Here we go, guys. And it is a three. You guys, you good? Look at that. I rolled it. So we got a three. So I'm going to get everything loaded into the randomizer. See, 2011 contenders at the top, 2012 contenders, 2012 Prism, 2012 Totally Certified, and 2012 Absolute. We'll hit the randomizer three times. First time. And it looks like the first time it's going to be 2012 contenders on top, 2012 absolute on the bottom. Second time. Oops. 2012 contenders on top, 2012 prism on the bottom. And the third time. Prism! God, I don't want to see absolute. No absolute. 2012 totally certified. Well, you can't hit you with a randomizer, folks. Can't get enough of that stuff, boy. All right. It's all about that. If I wasn't on live TV, I would probably not crack that, but I'm going to. I'm going to be a man of my word here. All right. I almost feel like a deflated man. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. We're going to go grab the 2012 Totally Certified, and I will crack it for you right here live. Thank you, Mr. Taxman. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I care about, too, is that's the lucky one. I'm trying to help here. All right. Okay, so just tune in, 2012 
2012 totally certified. We ran the random. I've already done one tonight, and sure enough, it popped up again. So, Chris Johnson base. Looking for a Chris Johnson base. <laughs> I get a Chris Johnson base out of this box. I'm a happy man. Uh, I may peacock if I get a Chris Johnson base. I <laughs> I think they want to see that. I don't think I've ever peacocked for a base card. Want. What's that? <laughs> Give the people what they want. The people want the peacock. They got the salsa already. Now they, now they, I mean, they could they could double up tonight. That's that's a huge that's a huge night in the locker room legends room. All right, trusty Marcella. Seal is cracked. I own it. <laughs> Remember, we gotta ring this up. <laughs> Dan Miller is probably watching this from a remote location. <laughs> what are they doing? All right. Get back there, won't be any black <laughs> yeah. Thank God my my tax check was only was only a little bit, <laughs> or else we may be here till about two in the morning just cracking wax for myself. All right, guys. 2012 totally certified second box. Thank you, Mr. Taxman. This is my personal break. So the randomizer picked it for me. So if this isn't good. I'm blaming the randomizer. <laughs> Can't argue with logic. <laughs> it's the way we do things around here. We roll with the randomizer. All right. I don't see Chris Johnson, folks. All right. Here we go. No Chris Johnson. Oh. <laughs> and. Oh. You just traded wow. one of him. First. Yep. Jay Cutler just traded one. God. You know, the bad part about Cutler is he even looks like a prick in his cards. You know? He's got that look. Game use Jay Cutler. So at least we started this box like we left the last one. <laughs> which is important. Consistency. So maybe we're going backwards. Yeah. There you go. Let's get the game used out of the way first. I like that. Here we go. Second pack. Please. Ah. Uh, okay. If you're wondering why I'm looking through the base cards, I'm looking for Chris Johnson. And hey, things did get a little better. We got another game used. And his name is Robert Griffin the third. Mr. Mr. Heisman, I'm getting a golf clap for that, as a matter of fact. Woo! Yes. You know what? It's only fitting on tax day that he say, no, thank you, Mr. Obama. <laughs> and he shows up in my box break. So down and dirty, number to 299, Robert Griffin III, thank you very much. And what number was it? Number to 299. Was it number 10 now? Oh, it was, uh, couldn't be that lucky. 159. All right. That makes you feel a little better about the rest of the box. You can breathe easy knowing you at least pulled an RT3. Okay. This is the third pack. And it is a blue game use. I pulled I pulled the three game use right off the top, and that is Michael Vick of the Philadelphia Eagles. And that will be numbered out of 99. That is the second one of those I pulled this year. I just got out of Mike Miller uh, jersey card, a press pass. I'll I'm trade it for a Michael Vick. Out. How about that? What's that? Know, Mike Miller. I don't Mike Mike Miller booked for more. He booked for 25. He got throw something else in on that. Is he really? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, you better you know you might wow. have to throw in the RG3 at that point. Wow. RG3 and Vic for Mike Miller. Uh, the only Michael Vic card I think you could, you could probably trade for that would be one that had an authentic piece of a doggy kill or something. That was a bad dog joke. Really bad. Oh, well. It's been long enough. It's, you know, it's not yeah, like it. Can bring up those now. Yeah. She can bring those up now. It's not like I'm bringing up girls that have been kidnapped in Cleveland or anything and making <laughs> jokes about it. I mean, it's gone. He did his time. All right. Here we go. Pack number four. And we've had three game use thus far, so we're looking for an auto. Well, it's gold, and it's Brian Quick of the Rams. That is a that is a monster patch there. Very nice. No, that hang on, that's die cut. That doesn't have to be the top part of the ram, does it? Yes, it does. That is actually the top part of the ram, probably off of the shoulder there, the shoulder patch. 
That is numbered out of 25. It is number three out of 25. There you go. Brian Quick, Appalachian State. So two packs left. Should be two autos. Probably two freshman phenoms. Take, gonna take a gonna take a stab at that. Boy, no J Rob, please. Don't J Rob me. All right. It's like we have a blue base card. We do. We have one of the blue inserts. Charlie Joyner of the San Diego Chargers, and that is numbered to 199. 199, Charlie Joyner. So there's our blue card. There's an Aaron Rodgers base in there. And that is going to be another game used, but it's of AP all day, Adrian Peterson. So four game used. And yeah, I think I would rather have that than a freshman yeah. phenom auto. You better be lucky you pulled RG four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad memorabilia box. Actually, not a, not a bad box. I mean, the quick oh, I mean, even this. Quick though. Peterson yeah. 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 That's not bad at all. All right, last pack mojo. Last pack mojo. We're walking off of this tonight. Adrian Peterson base card and ooh, that good mojo. Them freshman phenoms, they get you every time. B.J. Cunningham of the now Philadelphia Eagles. There we go. B.J. Cunningham knocking me down to size. That is a nice base card pack, though. A.P. and Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. I almost said Daniel Manning there for some reason. All right. So there you have it, folks. The highlight. I don't know. I... And I don't know what the highlight of this break was. It was, it's too I mean, the RG3 is nice, but the Brian Quick patch, I mean, that thing, that's, it's not a life changer or any means, but nice patch. it's a very nice patch, and it's Brian Quick. And the Rams, tremendous upside for the Rams, so. All right. There you go, folks. That's the second break. Stay tuned. I mean, nobody's going to log on. I may just keep breaking. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Hey, you know what I will say? Is I don't know how you feel about doing those last two boxes in the dry run. Those were great. Those? Those were great. Yeah, they felt a lot better. All right. Anybody else wants to see me break anything? Just, hey, dial it up. I got tax money. <laughs> Why not? I mean, hey, I don't get a mortgage or nothing to pay. I mean, I'll just sit here and crack wax. Oh, hey, let's, let's ring this up. Okay. We're... Andrew Miller's probably on the other side calling his dad already. Right. You said that guy was going to get out of school.
Actually, I actually need some research from a set out of that so This isn't a bad crack. Alright boys. 
I told you, I get emotional about cracking. Get emotional about cracking. So one more box and a thank you, Mr. Tax Man Brink. 2011 Panini Contenders. A shot at a rookie card of all those guys you see there, Dalton, Jones, Newton, Ingram, and H.A. Green. We hope it's not Gabbard. <laughs> So, shot at an autograph, any one of those guys. Jake Locker, DeMarco Murray also in here. Oh, this is a pretty good value. All right. The whole time I was clicking that randomizer the last time, I was hoping this would be the product. But you can't go against the randomizer, and the randomizer did give me an RG3 game used and a Brian Quick autograph patch. It was pretty nice, so. All right. Let's pour these out. 2011 contenders. It's totally certified out of the way. Two boxes of totally certified. Didn't get a Chris Johnson. <laughs> Didn't get a Chris Johnson. Most guys wouldn't gripe about a base card, but... I've been hunting for that baby. All right. First pack, 2011 contenders. We got a redemption right out of the gates. And I know DeMarco Murray was in a redemption, so. And I don't know. I forgot. It's card number 218. Check with you, Mike. Not. 218. Rookie tickets. So that's going to be an autograph. I got, yep, I did. I threw it away. What was me? Number 218 of the rookie tickets. Oh, uh -oh. couldn't be a worse guy. Uh -oh. Titus Young. Oh, oh, that's right. he couldn't be a worse Titus guy to pull. I will give you a dollar for that redemption. <laughs> I might go wipe my butt with it. I think that would be worth more than a dollar. Wow. Titus Young to start things off. Wow. Well, it is definitely a tax man break because Obama is screwing me once again. We got an Aaron Rodgers base card. And we got a draft class 49ers. That is going to be Colin Kaepernick and Kendall Hunter. And that is a nice insert. That makes up a little bit for the tightest yard. <laughs> Anytime you can pull a Kaepernick, you got to be pretty happy with that. All right. Amazing. Titus Young. The luck. All right. And we got another auto. And boom! Mr. Andy Dalton. It is the Andy Dalton show, ladies and gentlemen. He's going horn frog all over you. And I don't quite know what that means, but I don't think you want to be Horn Frog. I'm just going to warn you. I don't think you want Horn Frog all over you. Oh, and I have a Larry Fitzgerald for the gallery. So there was one for the gallery. We have Cardinals fans in the gallery. They do exist, ladies and gentlemen, outside of Phoenix, Arizona, where they just go to the games to get out of the heat and get into the air conditioning. All right, and we got an insert. Tory Smith, Rookie of the Year contenders. So a couple, a couple nice, uh, couple nice inserts, and one nice auto thus far, and one auto that we do not want to talk about. All right, boys. And we got another auto right out of the gates. Oh, printing plate. And that is going to be Niles Paul, the Cyan printing plate autograph. Niles Paul, 101. Of the Redskins. The football Washington Redskins. All right. So... A one of one and an Andy Dalton autograph. I think that evens out the Titus Young. I think that, that that takes care of it. We're we're good. 
Panini and I are on good terms right now. As long as they, they don't slap me with a Bruce Miller here, I'm going to be okay. Oh, can you imagine the Peacock and I would have been doing? And this one is going to be all base. Well, we knew they existed. All base. All right. And another Rookie of the Year contenders, Dane Sonsenbacher, an Ohio State Buckeye, and a Chicago Bear. And a Tony Romo base card. The Ohio State University. Worst thing Monday Night Football ever did is letting athletes introduce themselves. Or sorry, that was not yeah, it was ESPN. Might have been ABC that started it. Uh, no, that was NBC, wasn't it? I think it was NBC. That's the Al Michaels show. And another autograph. Oh, no, it's not an autograph. It is a playoff rookie ticket, or the rookie playoff ticket, numbered to 99. The guy that's got the mini helmet sitting right next to me, that is the Mr. Irrelevant Prize in that football mixer draft. That we have coming up here. Need slots filled, forty dollars a piece. All right, that's my shameless plug. <laughs> nice little card. Look at the dreads on that guy. He just looks mean. He looks like a guy who just wants to hit you. Feels good about it when he gets up in the morning. Because you know what? I'm just gonna go out on the sidewalk and knock somebody down. You know, Adrian Claiborne knocked me down. I don't think I'd be mad. I don't even think I'd be mad. I'd be like, hey, I guess I got knocked down by Adrian Claiborne. I live in Iowa. People who live in like Wisconsin, they'd probably be pretty pissed about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he'd help you up. I've met him. He, he's not a bad guy. All right. And a another insert. It's a Super Bowl insert of Mr. Ronnie Lott in a San Francisco 49ers uni. All right. So Mr. Ronnie Lott and... We're going to keep on cracking. I'm not halfway through the box yet. We've got a 101 printing plate already. And Andy Dalton auto already. And the printing plate was an auto as well. Niles Paul. And it's like we've got another insert. And it's going to be legendary contenders. Art Monk of the Washington Redskins. This has been a Washington Redskins break. Okay. <laughs> if you would have, you'd had RG3 in the last box. Really? Yeah. Got a little down and dirty. All right. And rookie roll call, insert, Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Hey. A yeah. little golf clap for that from the gallery. The peanut gallery. Making me feel special. And that's I appreciate that. My own mother doesn't even make me feel special when I go to see her. So I don't go see her no more. She doesn't bake me cookies either. But Chick-fil-A gives us cookies. So there you go, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. I hope my mom's not watching this. Jesus. Yeah. All right. And that's going to be all base, but but we do got a Beanie Wells oh, in no. a Cardinals Uni. If you're going to get to Larry Fitzgerald, you're taking the Beanie yeah, Wells, too. Beanie you, you, hey, you, you, can't, you can't pick and choose here. You know, locker room legend rule number one. You take the bad with the good. You take the bad with the good. You take Titus Young with Andy Dalton, and you don't gripe about it. <laughs> all right. Here we go. And we got another one of those Super Bowl inserts. Steve Smith of the Carolina Panthers. I like those cards. Nice looking inserts. Could be a Panthers box. Yeah. Hopefully get a Ray Carruth autograph. Oh. Oh. We'll stay away from the Ray Carruth. <laughs> That's a Mr. Irrelevant prize right there. That Ray Carruth mini helmet we got lurking around here somewhere. That thing's bad mojo. 
That's like owning a piece of Hitler's mustache or something. That's just bad. All right. Well, Hitler's pistol might be more, more in the lines there. I, I was searching. I had nothing. All right. Another Super Bowl insert. I like this one. It's an Oakland Raider. Mr. Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson of the Oakland Raiders. Super Bowl insert. That's nice. All right. We keep on cracking. We're over halfway through now. Here we go. We're halfway through, and another legendary contenders, Deacon Jones of the Rams. And another legendary contenders. Chris Collinsworth of the Cincinnati Bengals. Wow. These base cards are nothing to write home about. Wow. I had another one of those legendary. All right. Keep cracking. And another rookie roll call insert. DeMarco Murray of the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, another Cardinal. Kevin Cobb. Kevin Cobb for the gallery. <laughs> Hits just keep on coming. Oh, my God. Yeah, 2011 was not a good year for Cardinals cards, evidently. This is Kurt Warner about to have a good year. All right. All right, here we go. And all base in that one. All base? Yep. There's a Jay Cutler card, and look at that. He looks like a prick in it. Imagine that, like he does in all his cards. Oh, look at that. He had no idea to golf cart all these cards. <laughs> Nice guy. I was, and it, in the bad part, it wasn't even a sarcastic clap. <laughs> it was almost like a rev it in your face clap. Oh. All right. Cracking 2011 contenders. Why? I don't know. Because that's the kind of crap I do, okay? <laughs> Mr. Obama gives me my money back, and I go and buy 2011 contenders. We did get a one-on-one -on -one printing plate signed by Niles Paul, and we got a Andy Dalton rookie, and we have an insert. Draft class, it's going to be Denver Broncos, Vaughn Miller, and Raheem Moore. So the inserts have not been horrible. All right. Looks like we got uh, five packs left. What's going on in the game? Uh, okay. I think I got a couple autographs left here in these five packs. And, oh, there's one of them. And it is Henry Hyanowski. Henry Hyanowski of the New York Giants. Fullback. All right. All right. And another insert, and it will be Ryan Kerrigan, Rookie of the Year contenders. So we should have one more auto left, I believe. We Titus Young, Henry Hyanowski, Dalton, and Niles Paul. There might only be four in there. Uh, I thought it said five, but you might be wrong. Might only be four. You're right. Just for, yeah, I think it is only four. You're right. And... It's like we will have another rookie roll call. That's going to be Lance Kendricks, tight end of the Rams. So we got that going on. 
All right. Two packs left. If there's any magic, let them be in the two packs. Already had a little magic, though. Yeah, what is going on? There is another. It looks like there is another autograph, and it is some guy I've never heard of. Marcus Gilchrist of the San Diego Chargers. Marcus Gilchrist. There were five autos in there. Well, you can't complain when you're pulling a one on one. Can't complain about that, and you get an Andy Dalton. Pretty good, pretty good day. Pretty good day. And the last is going to be an insert. Leonard Hankerson, and this must be the Niles Paul box, because there he is again. Niles Paul, Leonard Hankerson. Washington Redskins, and that, my friends, that is a wrap. That's all I got left in me. We're going to call our quits for the day here at Locker Room Legends. We want to thank you guys for tuning in, those of you who did, and don't forget to check out our website. we got plenty of boxes to break. We've got uh, things listed out there, and uh, yeah, we're all ears. If you want to break something, we'll see what we can do for you. So, thank you very much. Tune back in. We'll be back Monday. We don't roll on the Sabbath. So, Sunday, that's our time. Not because of Mother's Day. I mean, we don't even really care about it. We, I don't think they gave us bought cards. So, no cookies for us. Buy your mom a card, she might give you a cookie. And if she doesn't, then leave early and get a good night's rest so you can come here and watch us crack wax on Monday. How about that? Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Peace. We're out. Keep cracking wax.